So it's vital we get this right. We try to order new bearings. Aston Martin don't sell a lot of the internal parts of the car, including stuff like bearings. So we're being sketchy. And we're gonna be taking the bearings out of the old engine, which luckily are all yellow bearings as well, and putting them in the second hand block, which we're building up. So this bearing is the front bearing. Look, you can see it's marked yellow. It's got a yellow marking on there. That, gonna go straight in there. Get in there. One out. With one done, we've got four more to go. We're sliding these all in place and then we can move on to the next step, which are these type of oil squirters. Not sure of the actual proper name. These bolt in between the cylinders and oil flows down the pipes and squirts it on the back of the piston to lubricate the piston when it's going up and down the cylinder. Now that they're bolted in, we can move on to the crankshaft, one of the most vital parts of an engine. But as my dad was cleaning it up, we noticed something which might not be good news. Okay, so this is the crankshaft out of the DBX. We've got to use this crankshaft because all the pistons and everything are different out of the DBX than they were on the GLC. So we're using the ex everything all the same. We thought the crankshaft was going to be fine, but we've just cleaned it up and it's not fine. It's black marking here. You can feel like a ridge in there. And then that is it's one lot. I'm pretty much most of them all in line with each other. So there, there, they're all, they're all in line.